Hi, my name is Andy Raptus, and I'm a 10th grade student at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Alexandria, Virginia. I experimented on plants and flowers using breeding and chemical protocols in our garden to try to change their colors and shapes. So after many of our plants showed significant differences in their colors and shapes, I looked for ways to express these differences numerically with data. And that's when I stumbled upon plant phenotyping, which would allow me to express these traits numerically just like I'd hoped. However, after doing some internet research, I realized that the technology needed to perform plant phenotyping was either very, very expensive or it was like complex and difficult to learn from beginners. So that's when I realized I needed a mentor so I could educate myself about affordable ways to do plant phenotyping and hopefully educate others once I was done. During the remote internship, I built a small phenotyping station in my house using a Raspberry Pi and camera. And this allowed me to maintain identical image settings across all of the photos of my plants that I took. So using these pictures, I began quantifying the colors of the plants using um, Jupyter Notebook and Python with a program called Plant CV. And using Plant CV, I retrieved RGB pixel intensity values and charts for each of the plants that I analyzed and used these to reconstruct the color of the flower in Microsoft Excel. So my biggest challenges during the process were probably when in initially setting up my Raspberry Pi photo station at my house, because positioning the Raspberry Pi and camera, as well as the plant itself, was quite challenging. And programming the Raspberry Pi to make like identical image factors for all of my plants was also somewhat challenging. And so another challenge was when initially coding the plant phenotyping setup in Jupyter Notebook because the, I was new to Python and the code being used was very complex and variable and it was hard for me to figure out. So I think one way you can make plant phenotyping enticing for older kids and teens is by highlighting the advanced technology used in it, such as drones, sensors, and um, like complex imaging systems, and allowing them to get hands-on with these technologies and like discussing their importance. And I think kids and older teens alike would, be, would probably be drawn to the excitement of these technologies and involving them in hands-on activities, such as flying an agricultural drone or controlling a high-throughput phenotyping system, I think that could capture their attention and interest. Generally, the plant phenotyping um, process using Jupyter Notebook and Plant CV was relatively long, took quite some time for each plant. So I was wondering if it was possible to um, do high-throughput phenotyping with simple programs such as Plant CV and Excel, and if so, then how do we do it? and what further developments would need to be made, if any. And so I was also wondering how people my age, who usually have lesser complex equipment than many universities and institutions, perform high throughput phenotyping of their own, and what technologies are needed for extracting shape data of plants, and how can we make these technologies more accessible to people my age.